Have you heard the news described as fair or balanced? You may even see these words pop up in news organizations' slogans. But what does fairness and balance look like in news coverage? How can we evaluate information for these characteristics? In journalism, balance is a technical term for equal coverage. This means each side might have the same page length or broadcast time devoted to their perspective. Fairness, on the other hand, is about representing information as impartially as possible and considering all the available evidence. Journalists do this by thinking about fair play, fair language, and fair presentation. Fair play gives others the opportunity to comment or respond without their words being distorted. Look for fair play when journalists include responses from those accused or otherwise responding to negative charges. Fair language refers to the use of accurate and objective terms to describe events, people, or opinions. Many journalists follow a style guide like the Associated Press style book. It's important to note that what is considered objective or fair language changes over time. For example, in 2017, the AP Stylebook embraced they as a singular gender-neutral pronoun. This change signals decades-long efforts to better represent the broad spectrum of gender identities in media. For charts, photos, and other visuals, look for a fair presentation. Do visual materials correspond to the story, or do they misrepresent or exaggerate the details? Fairness and balance often exist in tension. Relying solely on balanced coverage can give a sense of false equivalency. You wouldn't expect fair coverage of a serial killer to include a balanced amount of comments from those supporting the murders as those condemning them, even if that might be technically balanced. News media may be accused of bias when there is a consistent pattern of coverage that isn't fair or appropriately balanced. Seeking out and consuming news coverage from a variety of sources can help you be a critical information consumer. It's up to you to weigh the perspectives presented in the news.